We're too apathetic, at ease in Zion. Lynette will discuss exactly the heaviness that's on her heart for the church in these last days. Okay, well, what I wanted to share was, thank you, Lord, that the Lord and I were having a conversation the other day, and we've been in conversation about it all week, actually, how apathetic his church is, sickening. These people that are over in Afghanistan, they're not just Afghanistan. There are Christians over there, our brothers and sisters. And these Taliban people are dangerous. They will take a baby and stomp it in the ground with their boots. They are wicked. God was showing me all of this. I saw it in the spirit, and I saw it on, you know, on, on, on film. They are wicked, and they honestly believe that what they're doing, the reason why they're so fervent about it is because they believe what they're doing is right, and they believe God is telling them to do this. There's a scripture in the Bible that says there will be some that think that they're, they're killing you, they're doing God a favor, or that they're, they're doing God's will. I think Paul said before he became Paul, Saul, he said, what I did, I persecuted and killed Christians, uh, you know, with great fervor because, you know, I just knew I was right on the road to Damascus and said, why are you persecuting me? So my whole point of it is, is this, like I said, God and I have been in talks about this and I've been praying and interceding for all of those people. I've seen them clinging to an airplane. They're so scared and afraid. They were clinging to an airplane that was taken off to get out of there because they know that these people are going to murder them. They know it. They know it sure does. I've seen several interviews of people that are there that are Americans that are saying uh, President Biden has basically turned his back on them. And I know in my heart that uh, President Trump, he would have been went over there and got them out of there. And what... It's heavy on my heart. That's why I requested the trouble of this world to you earlier this week because God said, we're in trouble, all of us. And don't think that because you're in a nice pretty house or apartment or mobile home or even on the street in America that you're safe. He said, this stuff <laughs> is on its way. The persecution of the church. See, this is what my apostles went through, say of the Lord. This is what the true church is going to go through. But see, this is where we're going to separate the wheat from the tares. So many people tell me, oh, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, but are you willing to take a bullet for him? Are you willing to die? Are you willing to die? Here we go again with that. See, God, that message is carrying over from last week. You have got to take a stand. This is where you're going to find out if you really love the Lord or not. Are you just, like my daddy say, you just die to me. You just you just flapping your lips. You just jiving and you just talking. You just talking loud and saying nothing. This is this is here. It's not coming. It's here, and it ties in right with what let with us with what uh, last week. God said, "See y'all think not you guys, but you talk, talking to whoever will listen to this. Think this thing is going to change. Oh, it's just the Lord just said that on on Saturday, or He just said that on Sunday." And, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, it went away. No, this trouble of the world is here. And the persecution has already begun, already. They are going crazy on Facebook and um, YouTube. You can't even pray. I said, P-R-A-Y, pray about COVID or they're going to censor you. What? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. They are taking this thing to the limit. They, they, they are taking it. I mean, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. And so what I am led to share with my beautiful brothers and sisters in the Lord, and even those who are, have yet to find the Lord, who are confused, who are scared, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way we are going to escape is through Jesus. And we may have to lay down our lives, but don't hold on to your life. God said you'll lose it. Jesus said if you hang on to it, you lose it. But if you lose it, you will gain eternal life. This is the mindset we should be in. It's very sobering, very serious. Because we're talking about lights out. No more cameras, no more action. Lights out. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And just reminder, a reminder of the urgency of the world is in trouble. 